Okay, we're back. Uh, this is a Faraday's Law demo that I'm going to show you. I've actually shown you this before. You can see here um, a coil and an iron rod in there. And I've done several demos with this using the, princip uh, the principle of Faraday's Law. And last time I showed you that if I put a ring here, it'll levitate. And the other thing that I mentioned was that the ring will have, uh, it'll, be, it'll heat up over time because you'll create current in it. So this time we're gonna use Faraday's law uh, idea also. I'm gonna take this rod and I'm gonna lower it. The purpose of the rod is to increase the magnetic field that the coil is creating. I'll lower it here. I'll tighten it. And I have it connected to the AC circuit. And now I'm going to turn it on. And when it turns on, uh, what's happening here is the B field is constantly changing and so whatever I put there, so I have now um, some kind of aluminum cup here. Imagine I'm drinking coffee or tea or whatever and I want to warm this up. So I'm going to measure the initial temperature of the water in there. Okay, I have my Explorer GLX here. The initial temperature is showing 22.4. Then I'll take this and I'll put it on top. I'll lower the rod a little bit more. And what's gonna happen now, you're gonna create eddy currents in the aluminum cup Okay, that's uh, they gonna. It's gonna act like a magnet that is opposing the coil. So constantly you're creating eddy currents one direction and then in the other direction. When you create eddy currents in the cup, it's gonna warm up, thereby warming up the water. So you can use this mechanism, and this is actually sold in uh, some companies. You can use this mechanism as an alternate way to warm up the food, to warm up water. So we'll leave it there. The, and we'll see the initial temperature was roughly about 22. So we leave it there about 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so. We'll come back to this and we'll see what the temperature is. We're back here with the Faraday's Law heating demo and it's been heating for about half an hour. So you can see the cup again. And I wanna show you the temperature is considerably hotter. It is now 36.7 degrees. It is actually warmer. So if you wanted to heat up a food, get it a little hot, or get some coffee a little hot, this is a great mechanism. So a much better alternative to microwave because you're actually not using any electromagnetic waves. When the current is changing, you're creating magnetic field, and the magnetic field is heating the cup through the eddy currents that is produced there. And so it's a much cleaner, safer way of heating up the, uh, the water. Thank you.